Hey guys, Paul here. So um, I was thinking about a certain thing that might help with the whole Yu-Gi-Oh problem going on right now. It's just a small thing and it only helps with a small element of it, but I wanted to run it by you guys and see what you think. And technically I can't really say that this is entirely my idea since it's something I've only thought about, but then I heard it in a video recently. Um, and that is Konami should actually clump packs to have archetype cards together. And I think that this would be a really cool thing that could be really helpful for making Yu-Gi-Oh! just a slight bit more accessible. So what do I mean? Well, I was just on the computer looking up cards from Duelist Nexus, for instance, right? And there are a fair amount of different archetypes that get support. But let's say that you're opening this, or it could be another set, and you see like one interesting card from an archetype that you might potentially like. Like maybe the Nemleria archetype, for instance. And so you see one Nemleria card. I'm assuming I'm saying that correctly, by the way. But you see one of those cards, and that's like all you get in your pack. And then everything else is kind of just a, a mix. And so what sort of ends up happening is that, well, okay, you just look over it. Like you just look past it. But imagine if you got a pack where you got like two or three different Evol cards all in the same pack, or even more, depending on like how many you know cards are supported in that archetype. So like this, this counts for the commons, right? You get, you know, four or five related commons, and then maybe your super is also from the same archetype. I think this could be really cool because it means even if a person buys just one Yu-Gi-Oh pack, just a single one, and they um, get, you know, like a certain archetype that they might not have otherwise really seen, then they'll be like, huh, maybe I could build this. And it already kind of has gotten you started along the way, along the path towards building that. Now, sure, there are still going to be other difficulties and stuff. You still have to get like three copies of a lot of cards, or you still have to maybe get like the secret rare. That might not really be a guarantee. But, you know, still, I think that it could be a good way to push people towards building specific archetypes instead of just bombarding them with a mix of nine totally random unrelated cards. It doesn't work the same for every set, and it doesn't work the same for every archetype. So obviously, you know, some archetypes have only like two or three cards in a set, so or maybe even like one so that might not really work all that well for them. And, um, you know, I think for Duelist Nexus, it's actually not maybe the best example, but an example that I think is maybe a little bit better is actually the new, like, 2023 Super 10 of Dueling Heroes, whatever it's called. Because in a lot of those reprint sets for Yu-Gi-Oh!, the set itself will be, like, something like 200 to 300 cards deep, and there's just so many things that you can pull. And so it can actually make the experience of opening those Mega Packs a little bit difficult because it actually means, like, you could just open one of those, like, you know, however many cards come in those Mega Packs, 13 or 18 cards or something, and still just get, like, a complete mishmash of things. I remember disliking the Ghost from the Past products, actually, for this exact same reason, because I just felt like I was getting, like, one of this card, one of this card. It was, it was so random. And so this can make it a little bit easier for a newcomer or somebody who's just casually buying packs to stumble their way into an archetype they might be interested in. And so I got this idea, A, because I was watching, I think, a Simply Unlucky, like, 10 opening. Don't ask. It was late at night. I was bored. I like watching pack opening sometimes. Um, and so his popped up, and I was, like, watching it, and he mentioned, yeah, Konami should actually, like, just collectively put the archetype cards together so it would make that pack feel a little bit more special and, like, catered to you. And I thought, yeah, that's kind of genius. Um, and so I think that is something that they could do. It could also maybe help a little bit with, like, making sets more draftable. Although that's not really going to change because it's still the same set. So, like, and, you know, modern Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and sets don't really draft well. So you got to go to speed duels or something for that. But still, I do think that it's just something, one of those little tiny things that could go a small way in moving the needle towards making Yu-Gi-Oh! just a bit more, like, fun and accessible and kind of feeling worthwhile to open. So um, is this a solution to everything? No, clearly not. But it's just something that I kind of wanted to throw out there, see what people thought about it, see if people feel like this is something that maybe would make them more interested in buying packs, or maybe it could help like with newcomers, where when you get a few random packs, you'll be getting like some of the same archetype cards together. I just thought about it, though. I guess even if you did this, maybe somebody gets an Evol pack from Duelist Nexus, but then their next pack is like a um what what is the, the illusion stuff so just buying two packs it still kind of is a, a mismatch so maybe that doesn't actually solve anything i don't know but it's just a thought uh so let me know how you guys feel about it and what sets you think this could work really well in what sets you think maybe it couldn't or of course any other ideas for making the pack opening experience in Yu-Gi-Oh even just the slightest bit better all right that's gonna be it uh short one today but i'll see you guys tomorrow with something a little bit more fun i want to open some tins but 
I ordered some, they, they're getting here late, so this will just have to suffice. All right, it's gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Best turn.